Uh, two years ago, uh, I introduced House Bill 136 to expand the, house, the, the voucher program here in the state of Ohio. And we had a lot of great support from groups like the American Federation for Children that Jeffrey represents, School Choice Ohio, the Catholic Conference, a number of other groups. The same bill was introduced in the Senate by my senator, uh, Keith Faber, who is now the president of the Senate. And he has shown himself to be a leader with courage and a pioneer in this effort also. And we're fortunate to have him now as the guy in the Senate and here to speak to us today. Keith Faber. You know, Matt, I don't know how to follow that, Father. I, I, I'm just a you know, country lawyer and, and, and state senator. It is truly an honor to be here. But, but I just want to ask you guys a question. How many of you, how many of you kids like to listen to your mom and dad? You can do better than that. How many of you like to listen to your mom and dad? All of you, right? You know, this debate to me is all about government also listening to your mom and dad. You see, this discussion about, is, is about who knows what's best for kids and families. Is it parents or is it government bureaucrats? Who do you think? Parents? From our position in state government, some people think that you go to great buildings like we're standing in front of, and that gives you the power. But see, I know all of you have been educated better than that. I know all of you who understand government in America understand that the power comes from where? The people, right? But I know you know the answer to this next question. Where do the people get their power? Where do the people get their power? That's right. And for government to think that they can trump the power of the people and the power of God in education decisions is just wrong. And from our perspective, from our perspective in state government, we need to make sure that we're empowering, we're empowering people, particularly parents, to make those decisions about what's best for their kids. And for some people, that's the choice to make that decision to educate their family at home. For some, it's a choice to go to the public schools. For some, it's a choice to go to charter public schools. For some, it's a choice to go to parochial schools. However, government has always said, we'll allow you those choices sometimes. But we're only going to allow you to use your money to pay for our choice. And that's the discussion that we're here about school choice today. You see, this isn't about government money. It's about the people's money. And in that, Matt and I share this simple vision. Moms and dads make far better decisions every single day than government bureaucrats as about what's best for their kids and what's best for their family. That's what this debate's all about to me. Thanks for coming out and sharing our vision, and thanks for keeping this cause front and center. Thanks a lot.